other news, the Rolling Stones have been forced to postpone several shows in light of Mick Jagger's recent bout with COVID. In a Twitter post on Monday, the 78-year-old rock star confirmed his diagnosis while also apologizing to the fans for the delayed shows. All of the fans graciously understood and shuffled their way back into the van returning to the senior center. Jagger gave an update on Wednesday via Instagram saying he is feeling much better and is excited to be back on stage next week. Most of the band's fan base, however, has not been informed, as they can't remember their one password for all social media accounts, prompting a mass email barrage to every grandchild. American researcher Christopher Balding said he uncovered evidence that China is devouring data collected through smart coffee machines and other smart devices made in that country. Balding states the devices use technology to stealthily fish your personal data. The worst part of waking up could be the Chinese spying in your coffee cup. The devices are typically built with low security and very loose data policies, just like all of Facebook. These devices can range from a thermostat to refrigerators and even cars. Once they connect to your Wi-Fi, it all becomes part of one network, allowing all devices on it free range over whatever you're hiding in your search history. Even browsing incognito won't stop my My Little Pony obsession. Your, your My Little Pony obsession, not mine, from leaking. Typically, if you purchase a device from a reputable company, the odds of those devices sharing your data with other devices are fairly slim. However, if you fill your home with cheap Chinese knockoffs bought online, the odds are they will be talking to each other more than a woman's church group. <laughs> America celebrated Juneteenth this week, and in celebration, Walmart came out with a special Juneteenth ice cream flavor. We now go to Tommy Bufaki live in the Galveston Walmart. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth, Bobby. Happy Juneteenth, Tommy. What a beautiful holiday this is. This is the second time in history that we celebrate this special holiday as a national holiday. It was signed by Joe Biden just one year ago, celebrating slavery. Happy Juneteenth. Oh my Tommy, God. Tommy, uh, it doesn't celebrate slavery. It celebrates the end of slavery in America. Oh, well, you know, my friend, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you think about it? But, you know, it was Joe Biden, so who knows, you know, oopsie daisy, he might have had another senior moment, you know. So today we celebrate the end of slavery in America, where we don't like slavery anymore and it's gone, except in places like China, where they have the slavery and they whip the kids and they put the leaguer bleagers in the concentration camps and they, uh, to make the iPhone for the Apple. So, Tommy, tell us about why you're at Walmart. I met the birthplace of June, Juneteenth, t -t -t yes. Galveston, Texas, and I just tried some of that Walmart Juneteenth ice cream. Well, was it any good? No, my friend. What a disappointment. It was red ice cream to celebrate a black holiday. <laughs> so I thought, <laughs> why not Kool-Aid, you know, crash, bang, boom. You no know, red velvet. What does that have to do with black people? It doesn't even have any chocolate chip. And I think this is the case of cultural appropriations. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think this is a case where the black people take the white people's dessert and try to make it their own. Oh, that's, that's not exactly how cultural appropriation works. Listen to me, Bobby. I'm Greek, and I was a sponge diver before I was a broadcaster, so I've even been everywhere. I know a lot about cultural appropriation because being Greek, we have uh, uh, Zeus and the gods and the Mount Olympus and all these things. And we, the Greek people, were the first victims of the Romans. They came into Greece and, you know, you know, and it was bad. So, uh, what did you learn about the Juneteenth down there? Not much. Really, nobody seems to know much about why they picked this day because instead... Uh, uh, th uh, they should have picked a day like at the end of the Civil War or the Emancipation Proclamation Day. But hey, you know, it's a day off. It's a day off. So happy end of slavery America, except in China, where they whip in everybody, uh, or if you work for Disney. I'm Nora Pickwick, and for all of us at WBS News America, thank you for tuning in. Hope you had a great Juneteenth. And a happy Father's Day. Good night.